Welcome back. So good to have guests back in the studio, I gotta tell you. Well, there's a new group of businesses at the Mall of America, thanks to the Mall's Community Commons program. Here with some of the items you can get inside the space. Please say hello to our good friend, Sarah Rogers. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi, Jason. How you doing? I'm doing oh, fine, thank you. I'm so glad you're back <laughs> in the studio. It's so good to be here with I know. you, too. I, Sarah's one of the people that when we couldn't have guests, I'm like, oh, it's just not the same on Zoom and anyway. Um, first, a kudos. Mm -hmm. I love that the mall, I say this every time we do a segment like this with you, I love that the mall's doing more and more of these types of programs. Yeah. So I was already proud to shop there and basically live there on Saturdays, but this is great. What is this program all about, Sarah? Well, Community Commons is an area where they rotate the retailers every six months. And they're mostly minority owned businesses and local businesses. And the first three months, they don't even have to pay rent. Oh really? Mm -hmm. And and at the six up to the six month period, they pay a percentage of their sales, and then after the six months, they have a chance to become, you know, one of the regular stores inside of the Mall of America if they choose to. Full disclosure, you know, I, I I've been lucky enough to benefit from a program similar to this with a small business, and it makes a difference mm -hmm. because. It's not shade on any of these malls, but it is expensive for these smaller businesses oh. to right out of the gate afford that rent. I mean, yes. just blunt honesty. This is brilliant, and I yeah, and I, I think it benefits the mall at the too. same time. I think it does too. The yeah. mall loves giving back anyway, and it's just a wonderful opportunity for a lot of these retailers when you get a chance to meet them because a lot of them are in the store yeah. some of the times too, and so you get a chance to meet them and you get exposed to different products. So it's a win-win. It's a homegrown success, a success story. Okay, what do we have okay, here? Okay, so this is a brand called Mars Jameson. Okay, and Mo is the designer. She's actually sewing these handbags inside her space inside community commons she's got it going on like she's that. making them right there <laughs> so these are custom made bags these are a few of the things that she offers she's got a signature fabric that she loves to work with because it's water repellent and it's durable but she also works with other fabrics and and if you see a bag shape let's say you want this triangle shape but you don't see the color she's got an array of colors right there and she can make it for you right on the spot that's isn't that cool. great? And her prices are anywhere between $35 and $75 for this fabric. And these colors are so awesome. They're the colors of the season. Be a great accessory, great gift, too. And for handcrafted items, that price point, that's it's, real good, Sarah. Isn't that something? Yeah. I'm impressed with that, too. This next brand, Jason, is Honor Row Athletics. Okay. What's cool about this program is it's actually a mentorship program for youth. Oh. I think between the age of like 13 and 18, they teach them how to run and manage a business. Is that not that. cool? What a great concept, right? We did, I didn't have that. We didn't have that in school. There were no, no sorts of those programs. No. no. And so you can just see some of the great accessories you can pick up there. They've got this, what they call a travel bag, uh, the fanny pack. They've got t-shirts, clothing sizes from uh, youth extra, extra small, right on up to adult sizes. But you are supporting a business that supports you. I love that. So love it for so many reasons. Super, super cool. All right. Now, jewelry. Our girl, Susanna Mendez, she makes amazing jewelry. Uh, and she specializes in this evil eye. You'll see necklaces, bracelets, earrings, rings. She's got it all. I bought a couple pair of earrings from her already. I just love her style. I love that ring, Sarah. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Eric, can we get a shot of that ring? Thank you. Isn't that Look cool? At that. And this bracelet too. And she uses stainless steel a lot. And so a lot of people really like how durable it is. And it tends to work for a lot of, you know, different uh, sensitivities if you, if you have that going on. So think about Mother's Day. Uh, you'll love meeting her too. And again, what a great opportunity. She's a perfect example. Maybe right out of the gate, she wouldn't be able to be able to have a space at a Mall of America. This program. Uh, it's, uh, I love it's, it. Uh, I love it. She's so excited to be there too. And when you see, she's right at like a center island of her jewelry. And when you see the assortment, there's definitely going to be something you fall in love with there. I can just promise you, she's got such a great assortment. Oh, I smell coffee. Yes, we have Safari Pride Coffee. It's gourmet coffee uh, at its finest. It's the best of the best. Uh, what I love about this, it is responsibly sourced. Okay. Uh, the owner is committed to paying the farmers above market rates. 
Oh. So they are really into it. It's single. That does not always happen. No. No. And it's single origin. So you're going to get have an opportunity to experience coffee directly from Kenya, uh, directly from Rwanda, uh, Cameroon. Uh, and they really have, uh, like the name suggests, a lot of pride in, in making sure it's the best of the best. I love the packaging. You can get a gift set. You can buy the uh, pre-grounded beans here or the whole beans and grind them yourself. So it really, the tumblers, they've got it all going on there for you. And you know what? I, I know this sounds woo-woo, but you'll feel good knowing, you know, you're, you're enjoying it at the end of the process. You're going to feel good knowing that you're helping the people at the beginning of the process. That's right. You know what I mean? That's I, that's, right. that's fantastic. That's right. That's Safari Pride Coffee. And then last but not least is Arwa. And Arwa is a clothing company for mostly women, uh, but women that like to dress modest. And they specialize in what's called the abai. And okay. this is a, a full length outer uh, garment here. And so it's for women of different cultures that need to be covered from head to toe. Oh. And she offers just great prices, really competitive. I just saw a price tag. Do you mind if I say yes. $70? Yes. Yes, and so her store is always busy. She sells the head wraps as well. So you can do the matching. She's got it for day uh, and, and also for special occasions. I wish I could have brought in more to show you some of the embellishment. She's really doing it's, a great job. That's art. That's just, that's beautiful. And just a delightful spirit too. The owner, I had a chance to chat with her and some of her customers for a while. Fun place to shop. Oh, okay, so where, where, uh, where? And so this is Arwa and their inside Community Commons as all of these retail stores are. And where's Community Commons at? It is on the second floor, almost like across from a Levi store right by Macy's. Oh, I know exactly where West. it is. I know, I, if you ever see me in the mall and you need to know where someplace is, I'm a walking guide. I can tell you where any, which is pathetic, but that's all right. <laughs> I can tell you where every single store in that mall is. Anyway, thank you for bringing this. I love my this. My pleasure. Because I know our viewers are so devoted, they will support all of these people. Oh, thank Thank right, you for that. people. That's right. Thank you. Find community commons, like Sarah said, uh, level two across from Levi's at the Mall of America. We'll be right back. Back in a moment, everyone. This is great. I can't believe she makes those.